I'm feeling hole in one here. Perfect golf being played. Well, if that's the right yardage, it's slam dunking. Oh my God! We all know that feeling. We may have hit one terrible golf shot, but then we follow it up with a second attempt and we always hit a decent shot. I'm gonna put that theory to the test today. I'm gonna to play the closing holes here on the America course at La Cala holes 15, 16, 17, and 18. And after every shot, I'm gonna give my second, myself a second attempt if I want it. The catch is I have to play from where that second ball goes though. So theoretically, if it's easier second time around, I should shoot a really low score. Let's get into this and see what we can actually shoot. Hole 15 is a par five that scales 550, yard, 550 yards dog-legging from right to left. I'm gonna try and take it over the bunkers and leave myself an iron in. Let's see if I can do it first time or do we need a second attempt? Well, on that one, if it carries that trap, yep. We do not need a second attempt on that one. That is the best one I've hit in a long time. Let's get up to there and see if I'm gonna need my mulligan on the second shot. Okay, so we've got down into the fairway, literally A1 position, slap bang in the middle, it's just come over the bunkers here. I've left myself 260 yards up to the flag. So I could potentially bounce this one up, but I've got to hit the perfect three wood. So this would be where my little mulligan or my second attempt can come in. I'm gonna go straight at it. I've gotta get it off this nice tight fairway well. Let's see if we need a second attempt. I tell you what, I should generally play with this concept more because I couldn't hit that any better. Literally couldn't hit that any better. I don't know if it's got up on. Can't quite see. I reckon I'd struggle to get it all the way there, but straight down the barrel, bouncing up. I think maybe on my pitch shot is where I'll probably need my first mulligan. Right, so just pulled up shy of the green here because I couldn't have hit that first three wood any better than that. This is where the mulligan might come in handy because I've got a tricky little pitch here. I've literally got to throw this onto the front of the green. It's a delicate shot, but will the mulligan be my savior? Let's give it a go. run about six feet on it wasn't my best connection let's let's get our first mulligan out here let's see if we can play almost nearly perfect golf by using this mulligan i know the shot now i know the feel of the swing i just needed a bit more speed there and trust oh it's just run by the hole literally just gone right by the edge and I've ended up closer so my theory so far is working second time round is always easier let's go and tap that one in hopefully so we get up to the green and as we can see second attempt with the mulligan and there was the first one first one wasn't bad but it's not needed because now that second attempt ended up closer because I had an idea a feel of what the shot was going to be and we've made well, hopefully we make a pretty easy birdie there. And you know what? I should have finished that one out to see if I would have made birdie, but doesn't matter, I had to play the mulligan ball. Let's get onto the 16th, we're one under. Let's see if we can keep it going. 16th hole, 140 yards down to a green that is covered or guarded by water is probably a better word, but before that, Guys, how good is this view? If you pan round, you can literally see all of the three golf courses. You can see just for miles and miles. So even if I don't hit the perfect golf shot here, who cares? Because absolutely class up here. Beauty of this now, with it being 140 yards and being a par three that's a little bit sneaky with where the pin is, on my second attempt, I could potentially get a guidance from my first one, re my clubbing so I might not have the right club here 
and they could go and change this. But we've got a pitching wedge out. I think it's just a nice solid three quarter swing here with this. Just a little bit left of the flag. And I'm feeling hole in one here. Perfect golf being played. Let's give it a go. Well, if that's the right yardage, it's slam dunking. Oh my God, it's gone in. Oh. <laughs> Just slammed up. I hope that other camera has picked that up. That is insane. <laughs> Holy one! <laughs> Just scared all the workers down here. <laughs> I've done it. I've got a holy one on YouTube. <laughs> right. Well, I don't think we need the second attempt. <laughs> oh. Right, let's go down to the green with three under guys. Right, off to the green, and I almost feel like I should swan dive into this uh, into this little pond here, but I don't think that'll be the safest thing. Let's go and uh, let's go and see the beauty that's got in. I'm absolutely pumped. You can see the holes ripped to shreds. Oh, that is my third hole in one. Look what I've done to the cup. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> pitched here we have got it in let's get it off it's in broken I'm, I'm sorry Lacala. I'll repair that for you prepare that little bit put that back on the hole holy one yes Right, I suppose we better carry on the video and uh, see if we can make anything more magical happen. We're getting on to the 17th now. 17th hole. Um, I just feel like I want to go and get a beer, to be honest with you. Uh, but par four, straight down, couple of bunkers. One, the last one's 260. So I'm going to go just left, uh, right of the path and let it move back in a little bit. Like I say, we do have the ability to take another shot if I don't hit what I deem the perfect one. Oh, and that was very, very wild. That will be getting mulliganed. That was left and horrible. I'm just still giddy after, uh, after the hole in one. That's more like it, straight down the middle. And it is easier Sometimes the second time around, unless you get a hole in one, of course, drop it. So after my mulligan, we found ourselves slap bang in the fairway. Slight little ball below the feet lie, but it's okay. I've only got 70 yards up to the flag. Um, I've got my 58 degree out. Let's see if we can carry on the birdie slash eagle streak slash hole in one streak. Be a three quarter one of these, just going to aim a little left of the pin and let it feed in. Now I feel, as I can't see it, that's gone a little bit by the flag and it's gone a little bit right. But I don't know if it felt spinny. I can't actually see. So do you know what? I'm going to play a Shrix and four. The other one was a three. We're going to go Mulligan. I'm gonna see if I can improve on that one. So I've got the right feel for the length of swing. It's just the direction now. Stuck with my first choice, everyone. Seems I decided to get a little bit duffy. And we're back down to earth with a bang. Golf, you cruel, cruel game. Right, on to the next. Just shy of the green now. Uh, the other ball, I've had a look up. It's about 12 feet away, so I should have trusted my instinct, but a good pitch here can save us. It can save us all. Got to throw it up over the bunker, get it a bit high and soft, because we are going downwind, but I can do it. 
I've had a hole in one for Pete's sake. Ah. Okay, so up on the green, that was my first attempt. So we can't use that one. There was my second attempt, which just skipped over the hole. And there was the first shot I hit from 70 yards away. So I got it closer from 70 yards. Hey ho. You can't always have it your own way. Golf, it's, you know, it's a cruel one. But let's see if we can, uh, if we can hold this putt. We've got two goes at it. So at least if I do miss, I should know the line. And keep, keep us under par. I had that right then I've got the perfect read I know it's just left to right second time around it should be a little bit easier come on let's knock it in get that par oh, I've pushed it oh dear do you know what should have stuck with that first original wedge that is a bogey and moves us back two under par birdie hole in one bogey crazy game final hole par five down the hill big sweeping dog leg right to left this one 491 meters which if i'm right is 540 yards i think i've got to try and hit it right on the corner of the trees and let it go in so it's a demanding shot but we have the grace of a mulligan i can only hit it about 290 tops as well 300 so i've opted for three wood just so i don't go running through the fairway but let's see how we get on set up a strong finish Straight down the middle of the fairway, fading a little bit. I don't know if it's too long though. No, it's running, it's perfect. That is position A, and do you know what? I'm gonna learn my lesson from the last. When I see it good, I'm not gonna take another one. Okay, so I got down to the golf ball. If it would have gone another five yards, I reckon it would have caught there and I'd probably get another 60 out of it. But we're safely in the fairway. I've got 280 yards down to that green in the distance now. A good three wood, I think I'm getting on here because of the elevation and the drop that we see. I think I can fly this pretty much all the way. So we'll give this a rip ski and see if we need attempt two on the green. Oh, we definitely need attempt two because that is healed. and has missed the green short right, pretty poor strike. So let's go for attempt number two, see if we can actually get a little bit of a better one. It's felt a bit awkward there over that one. Come on, sweep off, knock it on. That is at the left corner of the green. Not a clue where that's come down, I can't see. I think it's near the path actually looking at it. Should be just past the green there. Right, so just missed the green left and pretty much pin high. Lucky I didn't absolutely flush it because I think I would have cleared the course boundary. Just come to rest here. We've got, the lie's a little bit difficult because it's all that sort of like fluffy grass so it's dead crunchy and not much underneath it can quite easily go under this one so i've got to be very committed to this shot and we've not got a lot of room to work with so try and land it on don't try and be too non-committal come on so weight left let the club slide under Go, go! Oh, just didn't quite commit to it. 
didn't commit to it. Luckily though, we've got a mulligan because we're in the rough, I'll drop. Ooh, yeah. hmm. <laughs> Another iffy lie. <laughs> right, come on, don't be too cute. Bit of speed, Matt, bit of speed. Job's good. There we go, committed to that one. Knew I had to commit that time. And we've hit a much better shot. That just shows that second attempt. I knew what I had to do. I had the feeling for it and trusted it. And now I've got a 15 foot for birdie. Let's see if we can finish off in style. Sneaky little putt here. Little left to right -er, I feel. We've got little T as a marker from where we're putting from just in case we need the second one. Let's lap. See it is slightly left to right. Come on. Good putt here, Matt. Catch. Oh. Ooh with a little bit more. So again, we have the beauty and the grace of attempt to. I know I need to be a little bit left of where I was there. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> Drama until the very last putt. It's just caught the hole. It was very, very nasty that, but you know what? I got a hold in one on camera, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button if you want. And if you do, hmm, I might get another hole in one on camera. Who knows? Hit it for me down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Can't believe it. Hole in one on camera. Done it. Quit YouTube now.